All right, so here's the thing. I want to take this pine tree down um, for a myriad of reasons. And, you know, it's got a good lean on it, so it wants to fall kind of right where I want to put it between those two trees. Um, you look at the middle of the body, and it's got a bend that kind of coincides with that. And I'm not a fan of cutting it without some sort of bull rope or guide rope. Um, I want to get a guide rope better than one half up the tree. If I show you one half, this isn't a particularly tall tree, but you know, above that bend. Uh, so usually we've had good luck with a uh, string tied with a rope, kind of harpoon style. I mean, a string tied on the end of a, uh, an arrow, kind of harpoon style. And then my daughter can send it up and then we pull the guy rope up into the tree using that string. Um, I've had good luck with that in the past, but for whatever reason, this time she hadn't been able to get it up in uh, to that quagmire of limbs. Share my solution with you. So, one of the kind of ideal scenarios, if you don't want to climb the tree, I think I've always found has been instead of our bow and arrow, which we were using, so we had like a an arrow without a tip, uh, with a hole drilled in it and some guide string, uh, is a crossbow. So if you've got access to a good uh, a crossbow, um, and you don't want to, and you can, you know, mount like a a uh, fishing reel to it, um, then. Send the crossbow bolt up and uh, use the uh, fishing line to pull your, your bull rope up. I am fresh out of crossbows at the moment, and since the arrow bow and arrow trick didn't work, I was thinking drone. Now, you know, I've got like a fancier DJI drone, but I sure don't want to risk a um, kind of a more expensive drone on this task. So this is a racing drone. It's one of those FPV racers carbon fiber, all the exposed electronics sort of kind of speaks to its kit nature. Um, and my idea was, because this will take a, a crash, and I have no doubt that it's going to crash in this case, um, <laughs> but my idea was to essentially 3D print a, um, a sky hook. Um, I'm actually making some feet for it too, because the old feet were a little small, and uh, try to send up some twine into the tree. Um, and then essentially just crash the drone on the other side of the tree with the uh, string. I, my only real concern is that I could probably fly the drone FPV with um, these these old head plate goggles uh, through those limbs, but with it dragging the string, and the chances of that string getting up in the blades, I think are really, really, um, really, really likely. So um, anyway. That's my plan. I'm going to 3D print a couple parts here and um, give it a shot and see what happens. All right. Apologies for the audio quality. I am using uh, AirPods. So, um, but yeah, this is my model um, in Cura. So these are the feet for the uh, drone. So it's a QAV250. It normally had like a little uh, like metal, uh, they're almost like piece, in fact, I think they were PC standoffs, like you know, you like to separate the motherboard from the case. Um, and they're lightweight, but they were short. And I'd like to, you know, let the, you know, let it, you know, have a higher stance. Plus, I think I keep losing them or whatever. So <clears throat> this is a dual extruder. So I put these, these are going to be on tough PLA. And uh, I'm going to uh, print those with a 100% infill. Um, because infill, there's infill. Um, I'm going to print them with 100% infill because I want them to last. Um, I'm probably going to use them beyond this. I'm not, I uh, never was good enough uh, as a racer to uh, worry about trying to get, uh, you know, the, the weight down that much. Plus, these really aren't that heavy. It's always been a matter of, the lap times are a matter of not crashing into something, either other drone or, um, you know, the course markers. So, um, and then, the sky hook itself is over on the other extruder, so that's this guy right here. I'm going to do it at 30% infill because I'm okay with it being a little uh, fragile. Because uh, if it, you know, say the drone were to get stuck somewhere, um, I would like for this to be able to break. Um, so it's going to be printed in PLA instead of the 
kind of almost unbreakable tough PLA. Um, you can see below, um, let me get, oops. Um, so basically I kind of just like in Cura, or not right in Cura, in Shaper, I basically just kind of pre-drilled um, and then I'll thread those on there with a, like a sheet metal type screw, which should be fine or good enough. Um, yeah, that's it. And same for the sky hook. And the idea of the sky hook is I'm going to um, kind of attach this end to a uh, zip tie and then mount the zip tie to the um, to the drum. And then that will be how it hangs down as kind of a tail, almost like a platypus. And uh, we'll attach a string, probably a fishing line, to the hook portion and try to run it up to the branches. And then again, these feet um, are kind of something I want to just uh, with the higher stance, I'll probably keep the feet, assuming they hold up. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I got. So, I'll send that over to the printer, and uh, we'll put the stuff on the drone and send it up into the tree and see what happens. The QV250s are small. Um, you know, I think you'll see, or as you saw in the other video, it's made of uh, like a carbon fiber and, you know, metal and it's relatively strong. So even though I expect this to crash, I don't think based on other crashes I've had trying to race the thing that, that a small crash up into a limb is going to cause any issues or even from the, you know, mid midway up this 40 foot, 50 foot tree. So anyway, uh, that's my model changes here for, so I'm going to send these over, let them print and get them installed and see if we can take the tree down. All right, excuse the messy workbench here, but uh, so I've got my QV250, and here is the uh, little hook that's going to carry our line, and then uh, FPV gear, controller, charging up some batteries, and we'll give it a shot. Rolling. Alvin. Tree. Fish and pull. Assistant. <laughs> Controller. <laughs> FPV gear. And go. Where'd it go? Oh God. So there we go. Got a tree rigged with a drone. Um, I experienced a uh, tree crew would have like a throw ball guy that would usually be able to just kind of do that with a couple throws, but yeah. So I'm pulling against this tree to kind of give it some in this direction and using my truck. Uh, really only needs a couple hundred pounds of pressure that high up. A winch is perfect, but uh, this will work.
couple feet to the left of what I'd prefer, maybe four feet, but I can live with that.